Right guys, I've got one piece of advice for you today. If you ever want to be productive in your life, do not play this game. Stay in school kids and do your homework. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cruzy here. I'm sorry for the absence last week. I was a bit distracted. Didn't really feel like making a video. I was uh, definitely not playing uh, games. But hey, we're back this week. We've got a brand new video for you guys. We've got one pack which we're going to be opening today. And also I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a video on how you guys can keep your cards in the best condition possible. The techniques that I use to keep my cards in really good quality condition. So yeah, we're going to get on with that pack first and then I'm going to go into the second bit of the video after that. But without further ado guys, let's get straight on with it today. Let's get on with this pack, let's go. Right guys, my mat has started to look so grubby that I've decided to flip it over and use the other side for now because it's looking a bit gross. Today we've got for you guys this Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pack. This is what we're going to be opening today. Pick this up from Sainsbury's for two quid, which is not really expensive. But it's not really cheap either. But we're going to crack open this and see what we get in this today. So here is the pack inside the pack. Let's open this and see if we can get lucky with the only pack which we're opening today, guys. How has everyone been? I feel like I've been so absent recently. I need to make sure I uh, I don't do this again. Right, let's take the code card off the back. You guys can use that if you want. Let's see what we can get in this pack that we've got today. We've got Kamala. We've got the multi-switch. I believe we've already got that. We've got Watchog. Yeah, we've definitely got some of these cards already. The matchup, there he is, flexing his guns. Rockruff. We've got Beldum sticking his eye out. We almost spurting a little bit of little bit of water at the top. Just the tip. We've got Gumi, that plasticine Pokemon. Kind of didn't focus there. We've got Stuffle as our reverse. And on the end of the pack which we're opening today, guys, have we got anything? We have got a Trevenant, which is not a hollow. For a second there, I thought that was a hollow. It's not a hollow, which means it's pretty bad. And the water energy on the end that I did not have a clue about. So nothing in the pack today, guys. But that was only an intro for this video to try and get you guys to stay. Because I know all of you are going to click off after this shit, you know. I know what you guys are like. But we're going to get on with the second bit of the video now. Right, so as I mentioned guys, for the second part of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys today how I keep my cards in the best condition possible. And you guys could do the same to keep your cards in as good a condition as you want to. I'm also going to leave links down below to any products that I do show in this video. If you guys do want to get them, uh, I will make sure to do that. Right here guys, I've got my little box of things which I use to keep my cards safe. Um, you've probably seen me using this before. But this has got pretty much everything I need to keep my cards in the best condition possible. So here we've got some card sleeves. I'll show you the way that I use these sleeves because I don't do them in the same way that everyone else does. But I picked up a pack of like 100 of these and these are really good for keeping your cards safe. So as we can see we've got a Dark Raichu here which is not a really rare card. But it's pretty good. It's quite old. It's from the 2000 Team Rocket set. And as you can see it's a hollow and it's also a secret rare. I don't know if you can see that number. You can see that now, 83 out of 82. That is a, It is a secret rare. So I do want to take as good care of this as I can, keep it in a really good condition. And I do that by using one of these sleeves, as I just mentioned. So like I said, I use these sleeves in a bit of a different way to other people. I usually put these cards in the other way than what they're supposed to be. So I kind of do them upside down, as you will. And there is a reason for that. And that is because I'm also using top loaders with these cards, which I'll show you guys now. So here is a top loader. A top loader basically just keeps a card quite straight and it just stops it from bending because you don't really want the cards to be uh, be bent and get dents in them or anything like that or whatever you can do with them. So you can get these. These are a bit more expensive. You can get these in like packs of 100, packs of 25. They're slightly more expensive but they're well worth it. They keep the cards in a really good condition. Right guys, so as we can see here, we've got our Dark Raichu now. We've got it all sleeved up and it's ready to go in the top loader. With these top loaders, basically, I put these in facing the right way now, as opposed to doing them the wrong way. And what this basically does is it keeps the card kind of airtight, if you know what I mean. If we had this facing the right way in the sleeve, it would be open at the top here. But now this is completely airtight and it stops any dust from getting out. So you can give this a tap and that should get it down to the position where we want it. And there we go. We've got a dark right shoe sealed in a double sleeve now as well as being airtight, which is really good. This card will stay in pretty good condition. We could just put that away and it will stay in good condition for the time that we do keep it. What you guys may have noticed, we've got a Professor Kakui here from the, uh, from the Sun and Moon set. What you guys may have noticed is that lots of these sleeves are not perfectly fitted to the card. 
and that is because it's actually really hard to find sleeves which are perfectly fitted to Pokemon cards. However, we do have some official Pokemon sleeves which I got with my Mario Pikachu box which are perfectly fitted to these cards and I usually keep my better cards in those fitted sleeves which I'll show you to you guys now. So here guys you can see we've got a base set Blastoise which is a really really vintage Pokemon card, really special card. I'm sure you guys will understand that if you do know about the base set. But here we can see we've got a different sleeve. We've got this Mario Pikachu sleeve now which is way way more fitted to this card. And what I tend to do is I tend to use these sleeves for cards which I know that I want to keep as safe and as good condition as possible. And the other sleeves I kind of use those as kind of secondary sleeves for things which I don't really care about as much. I'm not saying I don't care about them but these things, these cards are especially rare compared to those other ones. Any special cards that I do have I use them with the top loaders. These go much easier into top loaders as well. And if I did have any advice for you guys getting um, getting sleeves, I would say that these sleeves are fine for now, but if you do have other cards which you want to keep in as perfect condition as possible, it is nice to have some fitted sleeves. Just uh, It looks nicer as well, actually. As we're on the topic as well of using those Mario Pikachu slides, I feel like this would be the perfect time to show you guys the Mario Pikachu cards themselves, and I've been saving these for a while because they are some really, really special cards. They are probably my favourite cards that I own. So here... We've got the Mario Pikachu card all the way from Japan, as you can see, in all its glory. Definitely, definitely my favourite card that I own. It is truly something else. This is the secondary card that comes with it as well, again, but it's just not that same design. This design is amazing, in my opinion. Who would have ever thought this combo would have, uh, this collaboration, I mean, would have happened? Just truly uh, something else. I think I bought these from Japan with the box for about £50 just for these two cards alone, but in the UK now, individually, these cards are selling for about £40 each, so that was definitely, definitely worth it, and uh, as you guys can see, I treasure these cards a lot. But yeah, for today's video, guys, that is pretty much it. We'll be back next week, though, with some unboxings, I hope. I've, been, I've actually got a job now, so I've got some money in the bank. I'm ready to buy some more stuff to open for you guys, and we'll be back next week with some more openings of some uh, Pokemon cards, I think. But if you guys did find today's video useful or you did just enjoy it in general, please drop a like, drop a comment. It's always appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and do subscribe if you did enjoy it. But for now, guys, I'm going to be signing out here. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye for now.